Hello and welcome to another E4Clicks Project Estimator training video. Excited to have you here. We are going to geek you up a little bit. So we're going to check out an advanced pace feature. So it's kind of an advanced feature in the program. Um, kind of a cool little video here. So I'm going to go a little bit faster in this video. Hopefully you'll be able to, to keep up with me. I'm going to hit some hotkeys, but I'll tell you what I'm doing as I go. If I get going too fast, hit pause, watch it again, um, go see some of the other videos, kind of try to catch what I'm doing here. But I'm going to move a little bit quicker here and show you some cool stuff. All right. If you Again, if you like it, run with it. If it's too much, just don't even pick up the tool. Okay. We're going to swing over to E4 Clicks. We're going to start on the Estimates tab of the Updating Project window. And we can see that our focus is down here in our Estimates. We're going to create a brand new estimate. How do we do that? Hotkey is Insert. This is going to use the default totaling components and bust us in one. Okay, so Renovate Room. So we're going to open this up by hitting the Enter key on the keyboard. We're going to open up our favorite guide by hitting Insert. That's the hotkey to open up our default guide. And now we're rolling. So let's find some line items. What we're doing here is we saw in previous videos how we could add one line item at a time. Just hit Enter and Go. Or we could tag a couple and paste those in either as with zero with no information or if we wanted with common information to put common information on there and roll. This time we're going to take that second option and we're going to geek it up and let you differentiate between the line items that we have tagged based on the unit of measure. So pretty sweet. Hopefully it'll make sense as we do that. So let's grab a dumpster and let's do some finish work. So we're going to look at the, taking out a ceiling, some carpeting, vinyl cove basin corners and putting those back in. Then we'll clean up the job at the end. Sound good? How do we get to our dumpster? I'm going to use hotkey control I to open up our index, D-U-M-P-S. It's going to auto increment through my list there because my focus is down on the items. Enter on the keyboard will jump me over here. I'm going to tag the dumpster. Notice it has a unit of measure of weeks here. I hit the space bar to tag that. Then I'm going to come down here with my arrow keys and get load and haul. So we're going to pick up the debris, right, what we're taking to the trash, and we're going to load it out to the dumpster and then haul it away. So I'm going to tag that with the space bar again, and now we need to find those line items that we're actually demoing. So does anybody remember where those demo line items are in RS Means? We're in finishes. If you said the beginning of 09, you're on it. So again, our focus is down here. We can hit 09. It'll fill the locate field up here, 09, and auto increment us to there in the book. I'm going to hit the page down key on the keyboard to take me to selective demolition of ceilings. I'm going to use the arrows just go a little bit farther. Let's get the suspended ceiling, including the system. Let's tag that. Page down to get into demolition of flooring. Let's grab our carpet and our vinyl cove base and corners. So you can see here, as we're going through and tagging these, using the space bar again, that we're collecting tags in the book. Six of them there. Let's go find our other stuff. I don't have any n other numbers memorized here, so let's come over here. Up or down arrow key, key clears out the locate field. Let's go get our suspended ceilings. We can see that we have two of them here. One right here and one right here with the same thing. So this would be like the back of the book in the index where it says look at page 15 and look at page 35. What we're going to do is we're going to peek at the bottom and see where we're pointing to. So we got this one here, and then we got this one here. This is the one I'm looking for. So highlight it, hit enter, and we're jumping out here. Let's go find some tegular. All right, so let's do two by two tegular tiles. Now, we got here through the index. We also could have gotten here through the favorites. We can see the little F there, rock and roll. And if we would have used our search, we could have looked up tegular and probably got there as well. Yeah, definitely. We'll tag that one. Control I to go back to the index. We move through the list, so our locate is already cleared out. So let's go find our resilient base, right? There's our resilient base. Jump over here. Let's get eight inches, eight inches thick, four inches high, tag, and the corners. Tag that one as well. Control I. Let's go get our carpet nylon. There it is. Let's go ahead and do 28 ounce. So we'll tag that one. So now we got 28 ounce. Got 10 items. Let's get one more. Let's go control I. Here's another one we haven't seen yet in our videos. Let's do cleaning up. All right. So cleaning up here. So let's jump down and get the final cleanup by the GC at the end of the job. We'll tag that. So we've got 11 things tagged. 
if we want to know what we have tagged, we can hover over here. It says, hey, click. So one left click will open up the view tag line item details or view tagged line items window, and we can see all of our list here. If we wanted to jump to something in the book, we could highlight any of these, double click, and we're right back there. All right? It's also got this little handy toolbar icon. Okay? So how do we paste all of these line items into our book, into our estimate at one time? All right, exactly. Right click, option number two, paste tag line items. Now here's where we're going to jump off where we've been before. Before, we knew the unit of measure, and we were going to pop those in and say we were working in square feet only or linear feet only, we'd be done. Or if we just wanted to paste everything in with zero, we just hit process and be done. Here we want to geek it up. So we're going to notice right off the bat that the UM field is blank and it's highlighted here. Okay, so we've got a nice little note there. We can also come down here and read it. The UM is blank because there is more than one UM within the tagline items, right? And we do not have the advanced UM assignment option turned on. So let's come over here to the advanced UM assignment option and let's turn it on. This now is going to differentiate our line items based on the unit of measure. It'll start with the most popu populous one, so three, and then we'll work our way down through each type of unit of measure till we get to the lowest ones, one. It's even going to look at our unit of measure conversions and be able to know that for us and do the conversions for us. So we can do all three of these, square feet, square yards, and 1,000 square feet in one step. Pretty sweet, huh? So it went ahead and chose square feet for us. So let's come in here. Let's say our room is 40 by 40. So I'm going to do 40, star 40. I'm going to hit enter key. That's going to take me back up to the quantity and show me 1,600. If I come over here, I'm going to see that that 1,600 square feet for square feet, it's going to divide by 9 automatically for our square yards and give us 177. It's going to divide by 1,000 for the MSF and show us 1.6 1,000 square feet. Pretty sweet, yeah? All right. When we hit process, it will process all of those tagged ones and then go to the next one. In this case, it was linear footage, right? So that's 2. So it will do the linear, the, again, the highest populated one, which is linear feet, and then eaches. Let's do another takeoff. This is going to be the linear footage around the room, right? So we'll do 40 times 4. Hitting enter there, that's going to be 164. If we hit enter again, that'll be the same thing as using the mouse to click the process button. We'll hit process, and it'll pop those two in there, okay? So now we're doing the eaches, right? You see the each right there? The eaches are actually our cove base corners, right? Those were each's, so I'm going to put four there. We don't have to do a takeoff. We can just pop in a quantity. Hit enter, and it popped those in. Let's do one week for our dumpster, and let's do six cubic yards to fill up our six cubic yard dumpster. What we did then was roll through all 11 of those tags, nothing left tagged here, and everything has been put into our estimate and populated. So let's hit close here. The book is now closed, and we can walk through and see all of these line items have now been added to our estimate. We can see the different quantities that we expected to see. So the cleanup was 1.6 MSF, as we saw, and we can roll through our whole list. So it'll show us, if we highlight any of these, our takeoff, any notes that we would have put on. We didn't do that in this case, as well as our conversions. Pretty sweet? I hope so. We kind of geeked you up a little bit. Pretty awesome. You kind of got to know what you're doing and, and the line items that you're working with, but hopefully that can geek you up a little bit. All right? So hopefully you enjoyed the advanced pace feature. Please review this if you need any, any other help with it. Take a look at all of our other videos there to help you out. And as always, feel free to reach out to the support team. All right. You all have a fantastic, fantastic day. Thanks so much.